Upon receiving a tremendous response on OSINT analysis course, I have decided to expand it. And the first topic that I want to add is Maritime OSINT. Similar to the ADBS system in the aircraft, the ships utilize AIS. The AIS or Automatic Identification System helps the VTS or Vessel Traffic Service by transmitting vessel information real time. The AIS helps the overall traffic management. It helps in navigation, collision avoidance, and it also facilitates search and rescue missions. There are some other advantages as well. So this particular system, AIS, uh, transmit this information. First of all, the ship identity, the IMO number, which is the seven digits uh, unique ship identifier number, uh, and the length, dimension of that particular ship, type of vessel, maybe a cargo, destination, where it is heading towards, and from where it is going on, what sort of speed, uh, the plan, the type of, uh, of of cargo, if it is a cargo, because it may be a passenger ship, it may be a tanker, uh, and and, and a cruise maybe or a fishing ship maybe and the estimated time of arrival and many other details that we will look uh, into it consider this is you traveling to a particular destination at some speed you are planning to arrive at a specific time you also broadcast all this information to the concerned parties such as the nearby ships to avoid collision um, so there are three major parties or concerned parties that you send information to the first uh, the nearby ships the other ships the second concerned party is the shore station situated at the nearby uh, coastline and the third concerned party is the satellite uh, at the orbit so this is you are sending information to the ships to the coast, uh, shore station and to the satellite when the AIS system installed uh, and configured in that particular ship transmits information to the satellite, it becomes SAIS. Consider you are far away from the coastline. You are in the deep sea. Hence, you cannot directly send information to the sh uh, shore station. You have to send details to the satellite. Thus, the satellite facilitates this communication and enables uh, ship tracking in the deep sea. Thus, there are two modes of communication, vessels based AIS that support ship to ship and ship to shore communication around 20 to 30 miles. The SAIS support deep sea communication via satellite. But this system, this entire AIS system similar to the ADBS system in the aircraft is vulnerable. It is an unprotected radio uh, which means that the information goes out in plain text hence you can sniff spoof manipulate and what else just imagine we also uh, need a proper device and a frequency to capture this information in real time web-based services uses the ais system to capture this information real time services such as marine traffic uh, vessel finder fleet mon or fleet monitoring and there are many others so uh, more or less they provide similar information however i suggest you get a premium account or at least a trial of premium account to fully utilize uh, this these tools so the direction of your search depends on your OSINT goals you may be interested in analyzing a specific ship over a period of time its uh, history and what uh, and what sort of uh, stuff it's uh, transporting over, over the period of time or maybe you are interested in analyzing a particular port for example you want to know the economic activities uh, of a particular port what sort of cargoes are coming and going out so it all depends on your OSINT analysis objectives or goals uh, but uh, I will generally see w what kind of stuff can be done by using these tools Anyway, so let's just see the general overview of the portal. So for this tutorial, I will be I'm using the marine traffic.com. As I said, you can use any I have mentioned three, but there are many others. I mean, I've seen a lot of a uh, similar sort of portals, but uh, I like uh, marine time and the 
oh yes fleet monitoring is uh, also a good service anyway so uh, just to um, you know if you want to f f find out a particular information this is the map the world map as you can uh, see uh, pretty simple you can just click on any to find out the information uh, one more thing that i really wanted to mention is the filters so uh, we can select any particular sort of ship uh, oh my oh my god it's responding too slow anyway let me open the filter i don't know what's happening let me zoom in and zoom out stuck somewhere all right so i'm back <laughs> Anyway, so this is the filter that I was talking about. Uh, in this particular filter, you can select a particular sort of ship uh, or, or vessels. For example, the cargo, tanker, passenger, um, fishing boat, cruise, high speed, craft, all these things. And there are other filters, uh, filters as well, such as the capacity. You can select the capacity. And of course, you can play around with all these things. So uh, there we can see that uh, uh, somewhere in Iceland, uh, where am I at the moment? I believe this, uh, yeah, this is the Europe part, the Sweden, Spain here, and this is the United States. So there you can see a lot of things going on. So there you can see the position. This is a tanker and the position received via satellite. So if I just uh, get close to the shore, then I can see that uh, the information and what sort of things happening here. Uh, all right, so there you can see this is this ship and uh, I'm interested to know what sort of how this information I, is receiving so I believe this uh, red one it means that the position received via satellite it's again satellite I don't I, I, I'm not really sure about the color but anyway so uh, oh yeah colors means type of ship the green cargo red tanker and all these things anyway so satellite and this one I don't think so that it's why satellite somewhere near the uh, coastline and anyway so if I click on any and if I say that this is received uh, this is received two minutes ago via AIS and this is the particular source and if I click on any that is uh, in the deep sea which is not nearby the ship so I can see for example this one it says that the vessel is out of coastal AIS range thus it receives information via satellite that is what I was saying that this is in the deep sea which is that is not near to the coastline and uh, hence uh, it it utilizes the satellite to transmit the information however I, I am logged in into that account I can just open and uh, see uh, but let's investigate a passenger ship now for example the passenger ship that I am going to investigate is Queen Mary 2 if I can see yep so this is the passenger ship that I am interested in to investigate further so this ba basic search reveal uh, ships I believe the current location uh, weather speed time to destination time to, of arrival and its capacity and its call sign and its flag so there you can see the summary it's uh, the exact position at the moment and I believe this particular information has been received uh, how many times ago there must be written yeah one minute ago the last position so underway and there we can there you can see that it's uh, its destination and when it's basically uh, you know when it started moving <laughs> anyway and there we can see the IMO number as I, I have mentioned the uh, identification number the tracking number it's a passenger ship and um, its call sign its flag Bermuda and the a lot of other information so home port and of course the owner information this is interesting now things are getting really interesting we now know that this uh, particular ship belongs to this company in UK and this is the pro probably email address and the builder engine builder uh, just imagine tons of information and, and even now we can see the ownership history as well uh, however no data available maybe why not I'm not really sure we can see the further information the structure machinery 
Oh my god. So now just imagine uh, it's valuable information and even we can see the companies at the uh, operating at the destination. Now this information is also very crucial. For example, if you are investigating investigating a particular cargo ship and you can see where it is heading towards and what sort of companies uh, are operating at the destination, we now can judge uh, what kind of things it's uh, transporting and now there are other things uh, and other ways to investigate what what's in that particular ship uh, but anyway so this is a one way to see or to judge or, or it's of course not uh, something like a, a confirmed report but this is uh, these information can help you to judge something or at least it can give you the direction to investigate further anyway so as i said that the next step uh, depends on your objective. You might be interested in finding more information about the ship's uh, owner or if you are an attacker, you might target employees working on a specific ship. To discover employees, we can use uh, LinkedIn or MyShip.com. Let me show you one thing. As we are already know that Google is our best friend. I mean, it is our bestest friend. So I've just uh, searched Queen Mary 2 and myship.com. Although if I just search this particular uh, name of that particular ship, I can find out a lot of information. But although uh, the topic is Maritime OSINT, um, uh, I'm not going to discuss the search engine, uh, you know, OSINT techniques because I have already covered uh, this in my previous course. Anyway, so just basic OSINT, uh, uh, basic search query and a lot of information so this uh, website I was talking about this one myship.com it is an important website if you are investigating the maritime industry and if you are investigating investigating uh, the ships and the other sort of vessels so this website uh, it's like a job portal Oops, that's not why I, what I meant gallery let me just go back here so we can cross check the IMO although this is the uh, country flag Bermuda and the this is the other information the call sign etc we can just cross check the IMO number and uh, this website this myship.com also gives a lot of information the honor information and all these things uh, although it uh, I, I'm not sure that yeah it, it it doesn't share the real time information what's happening on where this particular ship is going towards so we can just cross check the IMO where it is in the journal and this is the IMO It's the exact same IMO 061 and uh, yep so this is the IMO anyway so what it this website uh, I mean is all about uh, to discover employees as I said that you can use LinkedIn or you can use this website it's actually a career portal that contains information about the people working in maritime industry or maritime or overall you know in the in industry so there we can see a lot of people uh, in the previous employees current employees as well we can see uh, maybe assistant chief uh, housekeeper and uh, other people anyway so these information now if you know that employees of course you can uh, send you can send them the phishing information and you, once you are into their devices into your uh, into their cell phone and whenever they go to the ship and connect to the ship network of course you can pivot you can uh, get inside the ship's network that is like oh my god scary anyway so now we know the ship we know few information uh the location and all these things now we know the employees the owner of course we can uh, uh pick that direction and we can work on the uh honor stuff but uh and even you can pick any employee from there and then you can further do the social uh, media analysis uh, you can find out the social media pages of these people anyway so it's all depends on your objective i'm not going to cover the uh, social media or sent uh, in this video since I have already covered before uh, but anyway um, let's change the direction I mean let's just do it uh, what about the IOT or internet uh, connected devices and the other communication devices uh, installed uh, in the ships um, I mean the Shodan, uh, Census Search, Zoom Eye and all these online 
services uh, they can do wonders if you just search the right keyword for example if i go to the zoom i i don't know why but i like this website so if i search um, let's say kobham.com uh, this uh, uh, company or this is this service uh, it provides uh, integrated technology to facilitate all sort of communication for the crews and all, it also provides um, the internet connection for the passengers the onboarding uh, onboarded passengers likewise uh, i have another keyword but first let's just quickly search it and let's see if i can find out something meanwhile let me just do it uh, let another keyword search on the census uh, you can use any tool or you should use the mixture of them in marset so similar to the kobam setcom it also provides satellite communication facilities and upon searching you can see the tons of valuable information now just imagine i have searched this keyword on zoomai and the other keyword uh, the in marset uh, on the census i'm not using the shorter at the moment you can even use it if you are comfortable with that but i don't know anyway i don't like it <laughs> anyway so you can see the just imagine the information we are getting now uh, i'm afraid i don't want to now follow up because i see that i might find something that i should not post online okay oh uh, anyway another keyword that i really wanted to discuss i'm not pursuing it but i i'm showing you the keywords that y you should utilize during your ocean analysis so another keyword that i want to talk about is the combox combox is an ideal uh, keyword and i should also search this combox here i mean what is combox so combox connects ships network with the office night network for example if if a ship is going into the sea and the employees has to log into the office network some sort of a vpn maybe and uh, they can uh, upload your uh, their work uh, from within the sea to the office network at the shore by using this particular com box okay so there you can see the com box i don't know why this one is taking longer but now i got it so uh, yeah there you can see the port number norway and this is the ip address let me just open this let's see what happened all right so we have uh, now here and this particular ip ip address and this is the com box and uh, oh my god not just imagine how vulnerable this thing is the smtp is open um, uh, it's a basic analysis now just imagine that we have the ip address and uh, you can use nmap uh, script or any vulnerability analysis tool to discover vulnerabilities uh, uh, in that system so that you can get or hack of course it's not recommended uh, the zoom eye also shows vulnerability of the system just imagine so we now know that the port number 25 which is smtp is open for for 3 http ssh is open okay okay uh, i i hope they are using the upgrade, updated one uh, which we need to check by using the um, tools uh, vulnerability analysis and of course why not let's just open it why not i mean because we are getting this information as i was saying that this tool zoom i that's why i love it it shows the vulnerability of the system as well and there we can see some high level vulnerabilities now just imagine the web server apache is vulnerable oh my god i mean why and i don't know it's diffusing the connection i need to check um maybe uh, it requires us to Login, uh, login using a specific IP is from the specific IP or from somewhere else. Let's just cross check. The why not to do, uh, check the other one? I mean, what else do I have? This one also seems good. I think I have already opened this one. No, that one. Okay. What about port number eighty? If it is working, no, it's going to the Google. So this one port number HTTP is open, okay, and the four four three is also open. Okay, SSL is misconfigured. Now just imagine. Of course, I'm not going to go. I'm not going back. I'm going to open it. I want to see what's in there. So it's a login page. 
Now just imagine um, after finding the web web based login portal, we can uh, try logging in using the default credentials. Companies usually don't harden the security of these devices. Just look at the SSL. It's misconfigured already. And uh, the port number 80 is not working, although it's open, uh, but they must have used some sort of uh, control. Uh, and the SSL is also open. But now uh, this system is also vulnerable. I mean, just imagine. Oh my God. Oh, okay. So uh, now let's not get into this. Search another keyword, another keyword. Another keyword is the Sailor uh, 900 V set. So if you are from the telecommunication background, then you uh, might already know that the VSET, what's this thing, the COMSET. And this thing, uh, is, this one is an exciting keyword. It is an antenna system often installed in the ships. Um, the, let me just search it. So if you just, if you can, uh, you can do the Google and then you will find out this uh, antenna information. So if I open any, for example, I am going to open, this is the KU band seller 900 V set. This is the response. I'm going to just open any randomly. So, okay, no, why? Why the SNMP is open? Uh, just imagine that we can find out if I just open my Kali, you can find out a lot of information. So, Telnet is open, uh, although they have changed the port. Uh, it's smart, but not very smart. Um, anyway, so HTTP on the port number 8088, so they have at least changed the port, but which is of course not going to help them. So let me just proceed further and let's see what I'm going to find out. And uh, okay, something interesting. Oh no, oh no, it seems an open portal. Okay, I'm not interested in finding further information. Uh, but we know the locations, your GPS coordinates and the frequencies, a lot of thing. Um, let me just, of course, I'm not going to find out. I'm not, I don't want to get inside this, but now just imagine, uh, let me just close it. Not something good to follow up. Uh, but oh my God, um, how vulnerable everything is. The entire internet is vulnerable and all this stuff available to search for free online. I mean, sure. Uh, I mean, uh, if I go further, I'm, uh, I'm sure I might get lots of information, but let's call it a day. You now know the point, you uh, know everything, you know, specific keywords. Why not to search yourself? Search a ship and uh, share your finding in the comment. Uh, Talk soon, take care and do not forget to like, subscribe, share, you know the drill, do it, take care, bye bye.